Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your rubber O-rings, I guess we would call it, on your shifter. As you can see, I'm missing one here and all these other ones are cracked, as you can see in this picture. Because I did take a much more closer uh, view of it. So let's get to it and uh, let's get these removed and get some fresh new ones on. Now, if you have this particular one, obviously it's going to come with these O-rings and over time, you know, they're going to get brittle and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so they're going to need replacing. It's already been since 2016, I believe, when I installed this particular lever. And, and the reason I did is because my original one, when I had a, a small little tip-over accident, it actually bent and broke. So, or I think it just kind of bent. So, at that time, I was like, you know what, instead of getting a, another regular one, I'll just go with the nicer one that's adjustable. Alright, so you could either use a small screwdriver like this. And go further up but here's a small little screwdriver you could use some needle nose pliers or a razor blade but i don't really uh suggest a razor blade as you don't want to you know scratch the surface of this uh lever so let me see if I get it with you know getting the screwdriver in there kind of get it out since they are brittle if not let me try with the pliers it's a little bit of a difficult challenge just because oh there we go oh there we go. So just pull them out with the pliers. I'm trying to get a really good shot with the camera. That's why everything else is kind of blurry. So if, if my shot becomes a little blurry, you know, uh, forgive me on that. So yeah, just grab the pliers, pinch it, and then pull it out. Most likely they'll just break out because they are brittle. And yeah. And if you happen to have one that's still in pretty decent condition, might as well just take it out and you have it replaced with all brand new ones. All right, other than that, the grooves inside here look fairly good and decent, so no need to really clean it. It's up to you if you want to clean it right now. Uh, now would be the best time. All right, so here are the O-rings that I got for this particular installation. Try to see if you guys could see that. If not, I will take a very close-up picture, but I think right there you could see the sizes of these particular O-rings. I got them at the hardware store. And they were sold as individual pieces, which was perfect. So let's just go ahead and, like I said, fairly simple installation. And after all this time, what is that? So that's, what, eight years of uh, having those O-rings. So now we got these fresh ones. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy. I'm going to try to get it all the way over there as much as I can. might be a little difficult because it's going to pass over those other grooves, but oh well. All right, well, I guess we'll just have it on this first one and I guess and just continue on to the next one and so on and so forth. All right, kind of found a little bit of a trick to get them over. So put that first one on, get the screwdriver, kind of make like a little loop here and that will help you slide it to the next one. There we go, and then let go, and there you go. So that makes it a little bit more simpler uh, to get installed as I rip the rest of the plastic out of these other ones. Okay, get this one on. Oh, let me get the screwdriver on first. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we got one more left. And then I would say that these uh, little O-rings will last me for another eight years or so. And this one, I could just pop that guy in there. All right, there we go. Now we got some fresh O-rings on here and last me another eight years. Well, another shorty but goody video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please smash that like button. If you hated the video, smash the dislike button. Let me know what you, why you disliked about the video down below. To help me out for a future video if you know any anyone else that has a uh, shifter like this and has really rotted out o-rings please share my video it helps me out a lot it helps the youtube and uh yeah just gets my video out more and if you guys have any other suggestions please post those down below while you're down there don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell there's also a join button hit the join if you guys would like to be a part of my membership program and be able to watch exclusive videos and videos that are not shown on my normal channel all right guys take care catch you guys in the next one